We're back with another Project Soundboy mod review. And this one's featuring the 89 Dodge Caravan by KI5. Starting with the front view, back view, and side view for you guys, this vehicle does include one spare tire. It also includes two types of tires. The off-road tire is only usable on the Nomad version. And onto the back of the vehicle, nice animation on the trunk there. The storage capacity here is 70. And that is not all for this vehicle. You can install a roof rack on the top of this vehicle with 120 maximum storage capacity. That's freaking huge, dude. Not only that, you can also install three gas cans and a generator into this beast. Freaking sweet, dude. And under the hood, awesome animation on the hood there. Here's your information inside of the vehicle, including the spawn ID. If you wish to pause your screen and look at this stuff, go ahead and do so. And moving inside of the vehicle, awesome animation there on the door there. Here's your options as follows. We're going to start with the horn. It's pretty much standard horn. We're going to move on. And onto the headlights. Ready, set, go. Boom, 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 boom. Frickin' sweet, dude. And then there's the 89 Dodge Caravan. Another beauty by KA5 so far. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And up next, we have the LE version of the 89 Dodge Caravan. Front view, back view, side view for you guys. And on the back of the vehicle, the maximum storage capacity here is 30. Big difference from the last one. And under the hood, here's information inside of the vehicle, including the spawn ID. If you wish to pause your screen and look at this stuff, go ahead and do so. And if you thought we were done yet, boys, nope, we're not done yet. This is the Nomad version of the 89 Dodge Caravan. Front view, back view, side view for you guys. And onto the back of the vehicle, awesome animation on the trunk there. The maximum storage capacity here is 105 plus the roof rack. It's freaking huge, dude. There's so much storage. How much more could you need? And under the hood, here's some information inside of the vehicle, plus the spawn ID. If you wish to pause your screen and look at this stuff, go ahead and do so. And just like other KF5's mods, you can find a ton of parts for this vehicle or craft all the way up to a two-tiered, fully protected vehicle. That's freaking sick. All right, boys, you know what comes next. Let's get these chicks in the seat and see how she drives. Oh yeah, let's go boys. On my driving experience, I've got to say this vehicle drives so smooth it's crazy. It was almost like it was made for my terrible driving. The speed felt good, the brakes were good, handbrakes, all of it. I have no complaints. One thing I can point out, this vehicle is not fast. It is a Dodge Caravan. Expect up to 60 miles per hour and that is it. No more. It's not a bad thing though. My terrible driving does not mix well with high speeds. And on the crash test, I smashed into the same freaking vehicle I do every time and a bunch of zombies and this thing still came out to a 97.51% overall condition. That's freaking awesome. Mind you, that's with the bull bar, not the basic bumper, so definitely install that bull bar if you want extra protection. My thoughts on this mod, I would definitely recommend it to you guys. I absolutely loved it. This thing would save my life so many times with my terrible driving. I would definitely throw it into one of my playthroughs, that's for sure. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Is this something you download, or is this something you'll just cast it aside and forget about it? And that's it for this video. If you like this video, go and dragon smash that like button and subscribe. Become one with us, dragons. And I hope to catch you in the next mod review. Goodbye, for now.